these anime stuck close to their roots. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most faithful anime adaptations of manga. For this list, we're taking into account how well the following anime captured their manga's plot, story, themes, art style, and tone. <laughs> We're also going to be pretty harsh on series that, while staying true to the manga, ended up doing the most frustrating aspects of that manga's adaptation, the filler. Yes, we're looking at you, Naruto. Why are you so fixated on me? Because you're my friend. Number 10, Dragon Ball Z Kai. Mysteries abound, made of a deep energy. Foes all around, but I will go fearless and free. Anyone at all familiar with the original Dragon Ball Z anime is probably also aware of its greatest criticism. It moves at a snail's pace. You'll fight with me, Kakarot! Unless, of course, you'd like more bodies to pile up on your conscience! Uh -huh. Thankfully, Dragon Ball Z Kai managed to correct this flaw. I'm done listening to this! Where's my son? Where have you hidden him? Tell me! Since it came out over 10 years after the manga stopped publication, there was no need to prolong the series, so Kai is a much more authentic depiction of Akira Toriyama's Dragon Ball. They've been holding back! They can alter their power levels at will! Die, Saiyan! Makanko Sapo! Unfortunately, the animation was not markedly improved in the 20 years since the first anime aired, aside from the intros, nor were any of the roles re-voiced, though the original cast was excellent. Otherwise, this entry might have been higher on this list. No low-class bottom feeder can surpass me in strength! It's unthinkable! I am not just a Saiyan! I am the culmination of everything superior in the Saiyan race! Number 9, Hunter x Hunter. <laughs> The first series adaptation aired in 1999, a mere year after its manga began publication. Rather than pat itself out the way Dragon Ball Z did, Hunter x Hunter's first anime merely stopped, resuming a few years later with some OVAs. However, the 2011 adaptation, instead of continuing the established continuity of the first series, chose to restart it completely with a better animation budget. This gave the manga a chance to catch up, and creator Yoshihiro Togashi, who is prone to illness-induced hiatuses, time to wrap up the plot threads introduced in the anime's long-running penultimate arc. The manga is still running, albeit haltingly, so who knows if and when another adaptation will be on the horizon. Number 8, Helsing Ultimate. You know, this much blood might even be too much for me. In another case of premature adaptation, the manga Helsing received an anime the same year it was created, forcing it to close out with a non canon ending. You're not really bringing that demon here. I will destroy everything. I was born to bring ruin to all that is. In an uncommon move, the next adaptation, Helsing Ultimate, was a series of 10 OVAs, with each roughly corresponding to the manga's 10 compiled volumes. Right here, Captain. This is where you made your last stand. You're dead. But you're not gone. Because you're inside of that girl. Because they were not aired on television, this allowed the series' characteristic violence and gore to remain unchanged by executive meddling, meaning that not only was the plot more accurate, but the details of the plot's events were too. This format also allowed for a better animation budget when compared to a weekly show. How's it feel, you bitch? Number 7, Bakuman. Appropriately enough, our next entry is an anime about a pair of rookie manga creators, a writer and an artist whose ultimate goal is to create a manga successful enough to become an anime. Unlike the previous entries, Bakuman aired in three distinct seasons, which might be a common format in the West, but is relatively uncommon in Japan due to fierce competition for time slots. The animation is true to the art of the manga, which, given the fact that the story follows the lives of manga writers and artists, can vary wildly between scenes, especially when portraying the fictional manga within the series. <laughs> Yappa manga te sugoi na. 
the characters are also quite well cast, with most of the selected voices matching their roles to a T. Huh? Number six, Parasite, the Maxim. As we've already demonstrated, it helps to wait a bit before animating a manga. Still, nearly 20 years, which is how long it took Parasite to reach the screen, is one of the longest waits on our list. Apart from toning down the blood and gore, as well as an updated setting with present-day technology, Parasite the Maxim retains a lot from its source material, recreating several standout moments, such as the infamous face-splitter decapitation scene with great accuracy. <laughs> Number 5. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood I've always known what it was to have a father but I have never had what you would call a mother. I was quite intrigued by her and how she cared for me." Like several earlier entries on this list, this series is the second version of its manga to be adapted to anime form. Although the first anime was well received and fantastic in its own right, it had to close out its story before the manga got that far. The final proof is coming soon, when you see how little I care. It wasn't until Brotherhood that fans were treated to the manga's intended conclusion, along with improved animation. <laughs> That's not to say it's a perfect adaptation, though, as parts of the early series are glossed over or accelerated, likely to reach the point where the plot diverges from the first anime more quickly. Even so, Brotherhood is as great an adaptation as you can hope for, with a few exceptions. It won't take much time for their soldiers to fully regroup and seize the building. Let's look at the door. Number 4, Kuroko no Basket, aka Kuroko's Basketball. This battle style basketball series, like Bakuman, was aired in seasons due to its manga still being in progress during the first part of its broadcast, ending its publication run in 2014. The anime follows the manga well for the most part, translating the series' exaggerated, special move-based depiction of the sport faithfully, using some truly impressive animation. Although, it should be noted, it does away with some of the slower-moving chapters present in the manga. Regardless, all of the main plot points were hit, and the overall themes and tone of the manga are brought to life in this fantastic adaptation. Number 3, Mushishi. When you get to this point, at the place that's closest to your heart, right here, these creatures are the Mushi. They are life in its purest form. A supernatural detective series of sorts is set in a fictional version of the 19th century Japan. Mushishi has one distinct advantage that made it ideal for translating it into another realm, namely its episodic nature. I thought she might be a hallucination at first. Her hair was this unearthly green. Because the main character, Ginko, is somewhat of a wanderer, his adventures are usually self-contained, allowing for the people behind the anime to change the order in which these adventures occur, without affecting the overall story unduly. As far back as I can remember, whenever my father would sense even the slightest hint of a coming rain, he would become a completely different person. While that might seem like a large alteration, the anime makes up for it by recreating the scenes with great accuracy, as well as capturing, and in some cases improving upon, the enchanted atmosphere established in the books. Someone's coming. Number 2, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Series. <laughs> While there have been a few adaptations of this long-running anthology manga over its 30 years of publication, it's only since 2012 that the animators have really been able to capture the essence of JJBA. <laughs> Beginning with the animated version of the first sub-series, Phantom Blood, the JoJo's anime have been incredibly stylized, using contrasting color schemes. <laughs> The 
animation is kept so close to creator Horihiko Araki's art style that during moments of importance, usually when someone performs some kind of attack, written sound effects are shown on screen, truly giving the impression that you're watching a manga in motion. Ora 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 indeed. <laughs> Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Monster. Everyone says you're supposed to be the best surgeon in this entire hospital. Why? Why? It was a tough choice between this and our number two pick, but we had to give the edge to this psychological thriller series. The fact that the anime began several years after the manga ended puts it at an advantage over most other adaptations. Usually that's a little dangerous, as the animator's creator often feel like they need to take liberties with the source material. There appears to be one survivor, a girl. A man and a woman are dead. A boy is in critical condition. What really seals the deal is the shot-for-shot -shot recreation of a majority of the manga's panels on screen. While it doesn't go quite as far as to include visual sound effects like JoJo's, Monster's more realistic style lends itself to the jump between mediums. Monsters coming. Uh, the monsters coming. Do you agree with our list? Which anime do you think stuck closest to the manga? For more true to the source material top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to Watch Mojo.